In this video, guys, we're going to look at how to place trades, how to put stop loss orders, take profit orders, and just bracket that trade in TradingView, executing through to your Pepperstone CFD account. Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so Pepperstone have partnered with TradingView. What does that mean? That means now you can use TradingView to do your, your analysis and all the stuff that you love to do on TradingView and now directly execute straight through to your Pepperstone CFD account. I've done a video how to connect that up. Just as a reminder, down the trading panel here, you connect up, hit the connect button, add your credentials your way. Try that in a demo first. I've got a demo loaded up just for operational purposes to kind of show you what's going on. We're not going to do any kind of deep analysis and wait for the trade or anything like that. Just a demo stuff so you can see. And I always advise using a demo, guys. And I always advise using the size, little tip, use the size that you would trade in live in a demo so it feels the same. So if you trade a one lot normally, use a one lot in demo. Don't go crazy and do like a 50 lot or something because it just adds a little bit of friction in your mind. So once we're connected, make sure we're connected, double check all of our positions, etc., and we can minimize the panel. So a couple of ways we can place trades. The first way is via these buttons up here. So settings, I can suppress them on and off as I prefer. Good for scalpers, right? So let's say you want to ride momentum, bang, can go long. I'm in, it's going to fill me. And now I can just watch the trade mature and come out of the trade as and when I want to. Okay, one thing I want to mention, I mentioned this before, I can suppress this. If I don't want to see that there, I can hit settings and I can go, I don't want to see the position anymore, or I want to see it in, I don't. I want to see the position, but not the profit, or I want to see the profit in money, or I want to see the profit in pips, or whatever it is. So sometimes you might not want to see it all the time. You might not want to see it. And if I want to close it, bang, I can hit the X and I'm out. It's closed the position. So that's a very quick way of scalping. And of course, I can use those buttons as well. Now, what about placing orders and bracketing the trade? Here, we'd go to the order panel on the right-hand side and we'd open up and we'd see, um, double check, you're in the right instrument. Don't be the guy who's, uh, who's trading the stuff, uh, fat finger in it. GBP, Pepperstone, ready. So now I can highlight the buy or the sell side of the ticket. Buy side, blue, right, basically hitting the offer. Sell side, bid, left, hitting the bid. So we're executing here. Um, depending on which side and which way I want to trade. So let's say I want to sell. So I do that. I can set market limit or stop show those in a moment, but I want to show you how to bracket a trade, which is a kind of a useful thing to do. So here I can select uh, how much I want to trade, my size. What's this called? Drop down, dropper, calculator. What do the devs call it? Only guys can tell me in the comments below. Anyway, I can pump it in directly via the keypad or I can use that little uh, drop down thing there, whatever you guys call it in the dev world. And here this way it gets interesting. So I can decide to move my stop in however I want to and my profit target. And this is this is useful for kind of, you know, if in a real trading world. So maybe I want to frame the trade in a range. Maybe I want to trade this range. Maybe I want to go short kind of around here. And I want to say, you know what? Hey, I want to take my profit if we come down to the bottom of this range here, 157.25. So I can now pump that in manually. And that is going to say, right, that's an 18.5 pip profit. That's going to stay fixed. This is going to move. So the higher it goes, obviously, the further the target is, the more money you're going to make if it gets to the target. I can do that or I can suppress the number of pips. I can say, hey, I just want to keep a 20 pip stop and it's going to keep that 20 pips. But it's obviously going to uh, sorry, target and it's going to change the actual value depending on where you want to go. So that's quite a clever thing to do. And it's going to show me how much profit I've made based on the quantity that I've put in the order. Uh, if we hit that profit target and a percentage as well. And again, we can adjust that if we say, hey, I want to make £100. I'd never recommend doing it that way, but you can do if you wanted to. We want to work off what the market's telling us rather than how much we want from the market. So there's our take profit. We can have that just that on or not. And we always want to probably want to always have a stop loss on as well. And let's say, you know, I don't want it to go much higher than uh, 157.55. I'm kind of short term trading here. Uh, 157.55. I could do that and it's going to say, hey, if you lose that, you can lose 45 pounds. And I could say, fine, that's a kind of good risk water ratio I like. Or I can go, actually, you know what? We're getting to a level up here. I'm going to kind of wait for a little bit of a pop. I'm happy to take a kind of, I don't know, 15 pip uh, risk on that. So that's going to dynamically adjust that stop because I've decided to select pips rather than price. 
So that might be useful if you use like an ATR based stop or a range based stop and you're trying to finesse a kind of exhaustion move. You might not want, and, and, and you think about this, when you're trading that exhaustion move, you don't really know where the exhaustion is going to end. You just know you want to trade it and hit it and have a fixed stop. And so you don't want the price to be fixed. You want the width of the stop to be fixed. So this might be exactly the type of thing you want to do. You take profit might still be in the same place, but you want that fixed stop. And that might depend on where you execute. I hope that makes sense. So now I can execute it, double check everything and say, right, my risk is going to be 95.32 because that is the distance between the entry price that I take and my stop loss. Um, plus your little tiny slither of commission because you're using the razor and there's my take profit. So bang, I'm in. Now, this is where it gets interesting. It's showing me all of the things I need to see. So it's showing me my entry. It's showing me where my stop loss is. It's showing me where I take profit target is. And you notice that little audio bell uh, I had configured and you can toggle that on or off. Now, if you want to move things, you can have that set and you can be like, right, I've framed the trade. I've structured the trade. I've got my stop in. I've done this. I've done that. Now, let's imagine you want to pull that stop a bit tighter. You know, imagine this market is kind of not doing what you want it to do and you kind of want to come out and think, yeah, I don't want to, that's a bit wide, that. I'll pull my stop a little bit tighter. You can just literally click and drag it and you're going to get the confirmation down here that the order is modified. Same with the take profit. Maybe you want to widen it out and play for the breakout and say, hey, I want to really widen this. I think it's going to turn here and take my profit. So you can do that uh, and it's very simple and easy to do. Drag the stop wherever you want and it's going to modify it accordingly. And of course, if you want to suppress it, you can suppress the whole thing, take your positions, take your orders off and look, no longer there. So you have just your orders in if you don't even see your position or you can have your position in your orders, you have the whole lot in as you wish to do. So now I can go right, adjust the stop, adjust the take profit and visually see the bracket that I've that I've taken and and you know if I want to just cancel the stop I can cancel the stop I want to leave the take profit in or I wouldn't advise cancelling the stop but let's imagine that you wanted to cancel the take profit and said hey I want to see this thing run I'm going to just let it run I'm not going to have a profit I'm just going to protect it with a stop after I put it in then you can obviously do that and you can close the position directly here so I can cancel this take profit close the position directly here if I want bang I'm out and I can trade again as I wish. And I can obviously flick to different instruments on TradingView. So that's the easy way, guys, of bracketing your trade, putting your stop loss in, putting your limit order in, and then maneuvering around based on what you're seeing in front of you and suppressing it if you want to kind of run the trade, if you want to hold the trade, or just having that safety net of the stop or having that bracket order uh, laid out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. That was TradingView. Bye-bye.